started the farm with 80,000 fingerlings. Hello and welcome to the Catfish Farm Enterprise. So if you are new to the channel, do well to hit on the subscribe button, turn up your notification. We have a whole lot of videos for you in the channel. Now we are starting our farm visit series. Now this is a series where we visit those that are into the agriculture industry, those that are into the farming, and we share from their experiences, from their knowledge, from their expertise, and also we learn from the different production cycles they have been doing in the farm. So today we are the Ibrahim Momos Farms. It's located at Alo in River State, Nigeria. So we are going to be speaking to the CEO and sharing from some of her experiences. We'll learn on how she started the business, how long has she been on the business, what are the production capacities she runs and what and what she does in the farm. As you can see over here we have a whole lot of ponds that are in the farm at the Ibrahim Momos Farms. So it's a big farm and also they still have an aspect where they do the feed production. So it's a, it's a massive farm, they do a whole lot. So shortly we are going to be hearing from her and learning from the experience she has gathered as she is into the business. So we'll invite the CEO to speak with us shortly. Good evening fans, everybody out there, fish farmers, lovers, fish farmers, businessmen and women, I greet all of you. So this is the CEO Ibrahimumu Farms, also the CEO Jack Kusum Aqua Fits. So you can, as you can see this is Ibrahimumu Farms located in Alo, Omoda Alo. That's where we have our farm. So I started uh, my fish farm October 2022. That was no, October 2021. I had no experience about fish farm i knew nothing about fish farm it was just one of my colleagues in the office he was into fish farm talking about fish farm asking him how they run it he told me that, uh, some things about the fish farm i had a bit interest in in the business so fortunately for me i had about two two lands and now i decided i'm going to start this business so I had no experience about the farm. I don't even know how the fish ponds look like. <laughs> so I just, on my own, I used my own a little idea from the description of uh, what uh, other experienced fish farmers gave to me. I used it, I called uh, some medicine men, they gave me this uh, construction of ponds you are seeing here. So I also bought uh, mobile uh, ponds you are seeing here to start my farm. I brought in some boys that uh, that claimed <laughs> that claimed they studied the fish farming in the school. So something I never knew, though the money was there by the grace of God, but not much. I started the farm with eighty thousand fingerlings. As a novice, I never knew that when they brought the fish, it was not even up to eighty thousand. <laughs> so after two months, I decided to count because when I asked the boy, are you sure these fish are up to 80,000? We need to count them. He said, if you, Madam, if you count them, they will be weak and they will start dropping. I said, okay. I allowed them, the fishes to stay for like two months. And when we counted, do you, guess what? Out of 80,000 fishes, I gave them money to bring down to the farm. I only saw 25,000 fishes in my two farms. I was confused. I didn't even know what to what to do or say. Though, to cut the long story short, I had no option than to continue feeding the remaining ones in the farm. At least let me get results and also be able to get a little money that will come out from the business since I've started it already. I send those ones away. That that, that one is the experience you get from the workers. Especially when they know you are a novice, they want to run you down. So by the special grace of God, we are one year and now in the business. So you can see my farm has been running it after a lot of inquiry, a lot of uh, 
research about fish farming i am able to run my fish farm now on my own with my the help of my workers in here presently in my fish farm we have more than fifty thousand fishes we have more than fifty thousand fishes this is my farm a another one is over there which is the farm b so it has been a good run for the past one year and uh, with what you have here some persons that have been into the business for 10 years 20 years have not been able to set it up so it has been a good one for just one year and you could have a structure like this on the farm so it's a very nice one like you mentioned you have close to 50,000 fishes now at your farm so what and what do you, you do presently are you into the hatchery production growth production and what are the other aspects of the cabbage farming you are running yeah in uh, this fish farming when i started i had a target mostly on hatching but hmm, it will surprise you to know that for more than one year immediately i started this farm i started with hatching it has never been working out for me i bring in different experts to check what could be wrong with my hashing, with my hashing room. This one will come, you know, the hashers, now everybody comes with their own uh, ideas. ideas. This one will say it's because uh, it's concrete pond, it's concrete uh, hashing, you have to use a uh, rubber, I will buy. It will not see what another person will come out. They keep, we keep constructing and reconstructing um, our hashing. Every month I keep spending money on hashing. I spend money in broke stock, paying the people do to come and the hashers to come and hash but to the glory of god we prayer 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 because you know everything we do in life to get to be successful you must be prayerful so by the special grace of god finally god answered my prayer all this um one year and i've been buying uh, fingerlings from uh, outside but recently by the grace of god early this year after the renovation of our farm i was able to get a hasher I think the fishes in my farm here are from the ones I have in my own farm. So they are of my own uh, seeds. So as you can see, my fishes here, they are just one, one month loss from fingerlings. One month loss from fingerlings. I feed them with foreign feed to boost them to 2 mm. Then from 2 mm, I use my own feed to feed them from 3 mm. Because my own feed are produced from 3 mm to 9 mm. So they started eating my own food. They are just uh, one month plus in my family. So, so that's a good one. So I mean, some of the challenges you encounter, you are wrong staffing when you started the hatchery business, whereby you are getting questions that they are not giving you the desired results from the hatchery facility. Yeah. yeah so now, since you are actually stable, you still do the growth, right? Yes. Then what other aspects? Okay, but well you mentioned your feed. Okay, you're into feed production. Yes, I'm also, into feed production. Also. So maybe we'll look at the your production and units here. You do your production and some of the samples of the products you have. Okay. This is the common unit. Then you have this and this one. So the common unit. This is dry mixer. You cross from the common unit. You can see the yes. conveyor, it conveys the feed while crushing, conveys it to the dry mixer. This dry mixer makes the feed dry. So after mixing dry, this is where you open it, bring out the feed, take it to the weight mixer. This is the weight mixer. So we need a better one than this. This is our weight mixer, you will mix it here. And move it to the extruder. This is the extruder machine. You put it here, it fits. This is the feeder. It fits the material to here, and this is where it cuts down. So we are not doing production now, you will have seen how it goes. This is our second extruder. So we cannot either use this extruder or this extruder. So from the extruder, if you want to extrude 3 mm, 4 mm, you do your setting. So these are our extruder. These are our materials for the production. You extrude. After extruding, you move it to the dryer side. This is the drying machine. 
This is the drying machine. This one uses firewood to dry. Why this one is our electric uh, dryer here? After drying, we allow it to get cold. You oil it, we shift it, and we start bagging it. We also sell and supply to customers. We have distributors outside the state. We have farmers that patronize us, that uses our feed. And we also use our feed to feed our fishes in our farm. We don't buy feed outside. Apart from foreign feed, once we boost our fishes to 2 mm, from 3 mm, we use our feed. As you can see, I've already showed you our feed, our fishes. They are one month plus and they are eating, they are feeding with our feed over here. Can we see the samples of um, some of the feed that is produced in fact? This is our 3mm. These are 3mm size of feed. This is our 4mm size of feed. This is our 6 mm size of feed. And this is our 9 mm size of feed. Uh, that, that's great. For just one year, you could uh, start set up the farm, produce your own feed that uh, is running and also supply. So it's a good one for the Ivaimomo's farms. And for everyone that wants to maybe get in touch, that wants to make use of their feed, you can also reach out to her. The number will be displayed on the screen on how to make your orders and also your purchase. So before we shut down, we want to know what's your advice for those that want to go into aquaculture, those that want to start a business. You've faced some challenges in the past one year. You've learned some experience as you are going. So what can you advise those that want to start and in the line of business we are into. I can only advise, if you want to go into fish farming, don't just jump into it. You should go for training. Ask questions. Make research. It's going to really help you. Although we know aquaculture really needs financing. It needs finance, needs capital. For you to get it right, you need capital for it. Let nobody deceive you that whether you have money or you don't have money, you can go into aquaculture. Aquaculture needs capital to get it right. Like in my farm now, with my feet, my, 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 my expenses is cut down, seriously. Yes, compared to when you go out to buy other feet that are very expensive. So my... Costs are really cut down because of my production uh, line over here. And uh, also buying uh, um, uh, fingerlings. Look for a good seed. You want to start a fish farm? Look for good seed because I've experienced a lot. Most of my losses in my farm is the, um, uh, the problem of having a good seed. But at least the one I have, I, I hatched from my farm here. None has experienced any form of disease outbreak. But I find out that when you buy fish from others, I don't know how they how they hash their fishes. You always experience disease outbreak. So when you want to buy and um, start a fish farm, my advice is number one thing is where and how to source for your um, how to source for good seed. There you can get your good result. So that is my advice. Yeah. And also at the, the area of uh, workers, God will help us to always have uh, good workers. That is always our prayer. Okay. Yeah, like you mentioned, you mentioned um, getting the right knowledge is um, very important. Finance is also non-negotiable because you need finance to run a massive farm. Like the setting up the factory requires a whole lot of finance. They yeah, mentioned getting good seeds for finger lanes. Yes, and if you can do the hashing yourself, it's, it's, better. it's better off doing it. Then, feed production. If you go for good feed, you get good results. Result. If you produce your own feed, if you have the capacity to do it also, it costs down your cost. Your cost. Then finally, getting the right set of workers that would work with you. Because you can get all this in place with the wrong persons, you can't also get results. So thank you very much for hosting us in the Ibrahim Momos farm. Um, we wish you all the best, yeah, in the in the farm too. Yes, but the, for those that want to get the feed, like I mentioned earlier, 
ways on how to make the purchase for the feed will also be displayed on the screen and you can also reach out to her with we her want number. to be a distributor we are open for distributors yeah. although we have distributor in some states yeah. so we just started so by the grace of god those using our feed are testifying for the goodness of the feed okay now so, so thank you once again yeah. Yeah. Thank you,